Hello beautiful people of YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best render settings and smallest file size you can while still retaining the quality of your videos when you upload them to YouTube. First off, I'm using Adobe After Effects. You can use Adobe Media Encoder, I'm going to set, put, show you settings for both. And I'm going to use another little tool called Handbrake. I'm going to be showing you that in a second, but first off, let's get to the render settings. When you want to render your project in Adobe After Effects, Apart from having autosave on so you don't lose your stuff, you need the best settings to render. So what you need to do is just click best settings, that's all you need to do. Just you need to, the only other thing really is need to make sure that's the length of the composition and the frame rate matches the frame rate of your project. Now with the output module it's a different story. It's on lossless at the minute, but I have these best settings for YouTube, in quotations. So let's get on with that. So we're just going to use, this is the template I use every single time, but for some reason it didn't save the settings after I've changed it. So what you need to do, you need to make sure the format is QuickTime, the video output is RGB, millions of colors and pre-multiplied. When you go all the way down to output, don't make the same mistake I made and, and keep that unchecked. For some reason it still won't alter the template, which is silly. And keep it at 48 hertz and 16 bit stereo. Now, when we go to comp, compact? Well, why was I going to say that? When we go to format options, you can see that it's MPEG-4. So, what we need to do is to click on that and change it to H.264. Let's make sure the quality is all the way up to 100. Press OK on all of it. And then you'll see it'll be changed to mov.mov. This is one of the best settings you can do. The other one is just H.264. Change it. Oh, make sure the audio output is checked. CBVR one pass and change uh, the target bit rate. You want it to around 30. And then the maximum bit rates, say oh, about 40. Just press OK. That is another one. That's for screen captures. Uh, that's a good one for screen captures. And where's my Mr. Kevlar? I think it's that one. This is another good one. Oh, I think this is the one that I showed you. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's just instead of VBR one pass, it's got CBR and then it's got the bit rate is 30. So you can use any three of those. And then once you click OK, render your stuff. Don't save. You'll like this is an MP4 that I had. And as you can see, it's 1.27 gigabytes. So if you've got a slow internet connection, like, well, not slow internet connection, but slow upload speed, like me, you need that to load. So what I've done is I've used Handbrake, and as you can see, it's 108 megabytes, while still retaining the quality. So, another way you can render is using Adobe Media Encoder. You can drag and drop your project, you can drag and drop any of them, or a rendered product, inside it'll take a little bit longer if you drag your composition because it's got to recalibrate everything and whatnot and what you need to do you need to go on tv broadcast h264 and then find 1080p 29.97 if you've got a composition that's 30 frames a second you just right click project settings click on this little video tab down here press on 29.97 and then change it to 30 then it'll change that little menu to <coughs> custom excuse my voice and then all you need to do is just press for that as 30. Well, I've already done that, so once you've assigned it 30 frames per second yourself, it'll come up in its own little menu here, and then you can just drag and drop, and then click render. Right. Once that's done, you'll have the video in your folder here, and you're ready for Handbrake. So, let's go. Right, guys, welcome to Handbrake. Now, what you need to do, you need to import your source file, which will be the rendered video, the large one, obviously, because you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't have a large one. Giggity. And all you want to do, you just want to click source, open a single video, and import the footage. Now once that's done, it'll, you need to change these settings. Right. You need the container to be MP4, and you need to click web optimized. Also, you need to click on the little video tab, and make sure the video codec is H.264 and the quality is 20. Otherwise, it'll just... You'll think it's increasing quality, but it's not. It's, like it says, it's more of a placebo effect in quality. Now, the destination, however, you want to choose wherever you want it to be rendered to. As you can see, I've rendered it in the same folder and then just labeled it Hamburg. 
you just want to do the same thing just whatever you want it to be just name it that and then the handbrake on the end and then just click start after it's finished rendering it'll it take roughly the same time to render this as it would the, the original video sometimes it can take faster it depends really but after you finished you'll end up with this file so it's pretty much like over 90 percent reduction because it's 1.27 gigabytes and then it's 118 meg like and on my speed, I think it takes anywhere between 15 and 25, maybe 30 minutes to upload, which I know is piss poor, but that's fine. My download speed is fine, it's just my upload speed is just shockingly shit. So, with that said, that's the end of the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. See you in the next one. Subscribe.